the best fucking podcast in the world. I am Lloyd. I'm JD. How'd you like that audio spike at the beginning there? Every week I have to deal with an audio How, spike. That one was good though. I think I might have, that might be a record. Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can tell because the voice gets completely broken when, when yeah. it spikes. Because you hit the red levels and then there's nothing you can do about it anyways. Other than ah. lower it down so when people are listening that they don't get their ears blown out. Shitty for buzz. a second of the... Uh, Shitty buzz. <laughs> So what's new and exciting, man? I don't know. Let me gather my thoughts. I'm pretty stoked. Yeah? Yeah. It's the weekend. To to the point that you're not even sure what you've been doing. I have to remember <laughs> my week. You have to remember your week. Because I do a lot of work. Well, you downloaded Conan. Initially, did that. We, we talked about Conan. You're like, no, I'm not doing it. And then you went ahead and bought it. Because I was anyways. bored. Yeah. And I still wish I didn't buy it because it is as early as I knew it was. Right. So I was right. And I f- what it's like whatever I I bought it. It's on credit card. I just won't pay for it yet. Help with that. Yeah. Um. So I know it is what it is. But yeah. yeah, I knew it was early because I watch. I watch. I'm f- I'm frequent on YouTube. Yeah. I watch the big boys, guys with lots of viewers. So they're very up to date with their information. Right. It's daily information. I li- and a lot of those guys though they're getting stuff earlier than than you yeah. or I would get it. So I mean it's probably even more glitchy at that. No, point. but they're up to date. Yeah. Like they show you up to date stuff, yeah, which is the main thing that I was getting at. So yeah. it's not pre, <laughs> but <laughs> and the game has yeah, it's, they need major updates yeah. even on PC. And if if it needs updates on PCs, you can fucking guarantee they don't they need updates on Xbox, Xbox because Xbox well. is always behind PC. It's just yeah. the way it is. All these games come out on Steam before they even touch yeah. Xbox. Because getting an Xbox package together for a gaming company isn't the easiest thing to do. They're yeah. pretty cynical about what you can do in your updates and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. For instance, when the game released, they had to release a little note saying like, oh, sorry, we can't do the update tonight because Xbox has to approve our update. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw the developers. So they don't even, well. they can't even go in and just update their game, which they should be allowed to do. Like, that's probably why games are shit for so long on Xbox because yeah. Xbox is such cocksuckers. I feel like Xbox this year have really shit the fucking bed. They're being like cocksuckers, I feel, with their fucking stupid little fucking paperwork bullshit with right. like, oh, we only take games if they're out with us first and all this shit. Like, in a sense, that AAA fucking service they were supposed to be giving me by giving me every game early or before any other console, they're kind of taken away because now we're not getting certain games at all. It's like... Right. Fuck you. You know what I mean? Like there has yeah. to be a line where you're like, I, I noticed in Xbox live, there is an exclusive console section for games that are exclusively to the Xbox. I know that, uh, battlegrounds, which is a lot of people are playing on PC now, which has a huge yeah, following. It, it's coming it. exclusively to Xbox. <laughs> I so I mean, there's all I was like, I don't care for. And it's like, I watched the, all the guys I watch, they do live streams of battleground pretty much nightly, like yeah. every night. And I fucking, I just, it's boring. Yeah. It's it's an interesting concept on the shooter. I tried the culling. It's not interesting though. It's not. It's the same fucking thing that we're used to. It's deathmatch. Yeah. It's just it, it's just you're building up to a certain point because you start with nothing yeah, and everybody then, starts with nothing and I, then you might same get thing an advantage. You do in division you when you play yeah. online survival. Yeah. It's the same game. Yeah. I don't I it's done. It's been yeah. done. I don't know. I'm sick of games that have been done. And there, like, there are lots of games that have been done. There's that's why lots Ark of people stands putting, alone, in my personal opinion. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. It is so unique. But You find spawned. another game that's even like Ark, I dare you. It's, Conan? <laughs> no, like, it's not, though. Yeah. It's, and that's even it's on, on a similar concept is what I'm getting at. So a lot of these games now are survival games. But that's not what I'm talking games. about. You're talking about, like like how you in, interact with a game, like how it works, like you make a, a, a tool or this and that. I'm talking about the actual... The game itself, the the storyline, the everything added, it's so alone. It so stands alone from anything else like with the obelisks and the aliens and you got the notes that you're finding and you're reading what's going on. Conan's Conan. You fucking watch Conan movies. You watch... It's been done. Yeah. They don't... It's nothing... They're not taking anything new right. and making it. It's Conan. It's the same, the same monsters. If you read the comic books back in the day, if you watched the old TV show, yeah. it's Conan. Yeah. But it's Ark's Ark. It'll yeah. it stand alone from any game that I've ever played, which is why I go back continuously. Right. And I think Subnautica is a similar standalone game. Not only do they update their game phenomenally, they do what the people want. If you right. they, people have said, listen, this isn't working in your game, they fucking change it. Where a lot of games uh, coming out like that, they don't. 
Right. They don't listen to anyone. And their updates are frequent. The game is huge. It's underwater. It's standalone. There's no, yeah. You can't find another game on the market that's like Subnautica. Yeah. Every, every game has a start like that, though. You but know what I mean? Like a, a story. Like Battlegrounds is just the same, the same shit. It's yeah. like... they. Uh, no, I know, but uh, bring it's a Day multiplayer. Bring to fucking Xbox. Fuck Battle fucking Grounds. Yeah. I mean, like, there's there's all sorts of games that, sh- that Rust, basically... Bring Rust. Yeah. Rust is a phenomenal game. Why yeah. hasn't that come to Xbox? Fuck Battlegrounds. Yeah. It's what the developers are doing, right? The developers probably don't want to put bed. in the effort. They, they've got it on PC. That's good enough for them. You know, I, I understand that sometimes, like doing it's cross got, I don't think it's got stuff. to do with the developers. I think it's to do with Xbox. Because... Rust has been what, talked about coming to Xbox for fucking decades. Yeah. <laughs> so what's going on? Like, like I said, I mean, developers probably like, no, no. Because consoles have yeah, limitations. Yeah, probably because Xbox gives them so, so yeah. much limitations that yeah. they, they have to say no. Yeah. It's like Star Citizen. He refuses to bring his game out on fucking Xbox because of the limitations that yeah. Xbox puts on his game. Yeah. It's like, a, why put limitations on something for your console? It doesn't make fucking sense in my mind. Right, but the console has limitations to begin with. But it with doesn't have to have limitations. They do that for money. Yeah. Well, and then, so then they you can start do, getting into if the... If they bought out their best technology tomorrow, it would cancel out probably the next five generations of Xbox that they were planning on bringing out. They never released the whole fucking thing. It's like the Scorpion that's coming out. Yeah. It's my Xbox but better. So yeah. you couldn't have released my Xbox at the time with a bigger graphics card. The graphics card that I- exists in the Scorpion existed then. Yeah. It's horseshit, man. We all know that if they released the Xbox to its full fucking potential. Right. But but my point is, is that when you buy a console, you've got the same pretty much hardware across the board. Nobody's got a huge advantage. But yeah, it's Alien unlike computers. can make a console that is now being released for $500 yeah. and it runs on the same graphics card that you run with on your PC. Explain yeah. that. Xbox no, 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 are ripping not, us off. No, no. I, I'm just... Basically, what I'm getting at is when you're developing games for something which has a limitation like a console, you can't pull your graphics but card my, yeah, out and my, expand it. You can't expand That's your my memory. argument, though, is that it's there ha- doesn't have to be limitations on consoles because there's consoles made that don't have limitations that PC games can run on. Right. Well, then, then just get into PC games. But that's why it bugs and me about Xbox. Why doesn't that's Xbox what it is. just release right. a better fucking console that is actually the technology that they own instead of downgrading everything that they have so they can release something better for more money later on? It's horseshit. Yeah. Like, like I said, consoles, generally speaking, it's like a console. It'll play for however many years. Then they'll upgrade the console completely, like the yeah, 360 to the shit. one. When it's, did they hire that's, you? That's, Are you in commission? No, no. <laughs> I, I'm just saying that's the nature of consoles, right? It doesn't you, have to be, you though. Want to, if you want cutting-edge gaming and all that kind of stuff, buy a PC. Yeah, but you're still arguing buy, a different to, argument. It doesn't have to be that way on console. They it, choose it that way because they make money off of it that way. They choose it that way because it's more affordable. A $500 Xbox is not a two thousand dollar console. No, but five hundred dollars is the same for the alien, the alien uh, right, today, console today, and and then tomorrow it'll be something else and it'll be more expensive. What I'm getting at is that basically with a console you start with a base and you say this is what our, what our specs are, this is what you're going to develop for. That's kind of it, right? It's a money grab though. Admit that it's a money grab. The fact that they don't bring out their full potential. It's the fact that they know that they can hold stuff back to make money later on by releasing another model yeah, the, of their the, shitty fucking the Xbox. The Xbox One came out, what, almost like eight years after the Xbox 360? Yeah. So, I but, mean, but it's but not like they're doing... When you computer, when you PC game, and I used to PC game, you know, you'd buy a game and it's like, why does this run like ass? It's like, well, because you need a new graphics card. So, every six months, you're shelling out for the next graphics card. And the only reason graphic cards it. are expensive is because people mine. No. Right. And so they went up in price, yeah. which is our own fault. Don't yeah. be fucking so, idiots and mine for money that doesn't really exist. <laughs> you fucking assholes. Yeah. So my, my point being is that, you know, a console. Yeah. It's not the best of the best. No. And like you said, it took them six years or eight years, whatever you said from yeah. the 360 to the one bullshit. They released everything they fucking did in eight years. Yeah. Eight years of fucking technology. You released an Xbox one horse shit. Yeah. No, you kept that in a fucking safe and you released fucking point three of it. Yeah. And then you're going to make me pay out the ass to play with my friends because they've all got the better graphics card. And I want it, it, it's yeah. But apparently what's supposed to happen with that is that it's not supposed to make a difference. It's supposed to you're supposed to program it. So it runs equally on both. What they should have done is made the Xbox one so it could be added to. 
Yeah. So that I could, so that and, people and, could and then again, then what happens? Buy their you, more expensive equipment and put it into their existing. And then console. you may as well be PC gaming, and that's my point, right? But I some buy people a don't want a PC game because PC yeah. having a PC in your home, it's yeah. horseshit. Why I switched to console gaming is I had to buy it once, right? And then I forget about it. Nobody else is any better, but that's changing now. And for me, that prospect, I'm like, eh, that's not a good thing because then you're going to start to see it. Six months from now, it'll be a new one. Six months from now, it'll be yeah. a new one. Six months from now. But we're completely different on why we played. I play Xbox because I like the console. Yeah. I like console gaming. I don't like having a PC. I don't like using a keyboard. I don't like... You don't have to use a keyboard. No, but I don't like sitting at my desktop to play a fucking game. You don't have game. to do that either. You can hook in a computer to any TV these days yeah, anyways. I guess, right? Maybe. And, but and I just don't get why a console and a PC can't just... Like, they're, they're the same technology. Yeah. It doesn't make sense why you can't just have a console that runs like a PC. Yeah. Isn't my warning is, careful what you wish for. They'll give you what you want, but you're going to pay for it. And that's the thing. But Instead as of long paying, as you can upgrade and downgrade or, or, and do what you want to it, who gives a fuck what you're paying? Right. But I you'll wanna, be constantly paying is what I'm getting at. It's, it's, it's like an arms race. Like I said, it, if you put out a game, and this happens on PC all the time, you put it in the game, you're like, I'm so excited about this. And then it runs like a Yeah, and obviously it always ass. comes down like what... See, I'm... You're still thinking about the manufacturer. Fuck... Yeah, I get it. They're going to make money for the rest of their lives. They're going to make everything more expensive. They'll bring out new graphic cards for the rest of yeah. the fucking eternity. I'm, I'm just saying, like, if the world wasn't so fucking shit and it wasn't ruled by money, we could release this technology and we could all... They would still make millions of dollars, yeah. but they would just make millions less than they make now. They'd still be rich as fuck, just not as rich as they are now. If they just released the game... And you think any console developer or Microsoft's no, going to go for that? No. No, I just told you that yeah. I'm not saying it's yeah. real. I'm saying if the world was the way it should be and yeah. the world wasn't run by a fucking mon money monopoly that's fucking stupid, technology would just be easily oh, yeah. gained. Yeah. Like, it wouldn't cost us anything and it could just be yeah. exchangeable. So, so they would do things like Google's doing, which is trying to launch an internet in basically so everybody can get it no matter where you are in the world. Exactly. Which yeah. I think is a great thing to do with technology. That's why we should have technology. Yeah. I don't get this hoarding technology yeah. for money. It's fucked. Yeah. Because people are, are, are greedy and that's what happens. It's like... Uh, but it will fail eventually yeah. for them. I don't yeah. feel like it will go on forever. Yeah. If you look at... Uh, Elon Musk. I mean, there's a guy that's putting forward technology. He's making money. He's very wealthy. Yeah. But, you know, he's doing it in such a way as like, I kind of don't care that I, I'm not maximizing my profit out of this. Yeah. I want to make it accessible. And that's, because I that's feel like that's mark. the good outlook on it. Like, you're still rich. You're still yeah. making your living. But you're making what you're doing accessible for everybody yeah. to have what they should be allowed, yeah. which is humans have moved forward in technology we should all have yeah. access to yeah and, and he's smart i mean that's how he gains his his place in history because people will, will remember elon musk later in the future and they will talk about him whereas but they don't talk about enough because i didn't have a fire i've never heard that name in my life tesla tesla yeah okay Company i've heard tesla, of that yeah. but but then again like tesla for me like it goes back to who tesla really was like yeah. they shunned that man for yeah. his beliefs and what he wanted in the world and yeah. and that's why he chose the company name and that's why he's put all his money into electric cars and yeah. now he's got the solar roof which and we is need more people like neutral. that i hope that coming up in the world yeah. we have more people to do that because even you know even though gaming is something so minor it's not affecting yeah. people's lives i just feel like the the money in gaming is just getting ridiculous yeah well i mean the it's prices that we're paying and the amount of money that they're making and the work that they're not doing and i don't want to put any gaming sites down like i know they work hard i guess if you want to because i work hard i make cement all day and stuff yeah. like that i don't think they work hard in that sense but yeah they work hard in putting their brains together to make something that's beautiful and artistic and unique and blah 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 but i just i feel like the amount of money that is made doesn't show for the input you see in games right. Right. like Ark, for instance, which I love the game. I'm a diehard fan. But if I'm going to be diehardly honest with you, the first week of releasing on Xbox, they made over $10 million. Right. I do not see this game as a $10 million game. Yeah. Just uh, my truth. The amount, the, as, the amount of time it took to get to what it was when we bought it to what it is now. Yeah. And it's still shit that they haven't fixed. Like, for crying out loud, Ark, yeah. fix your building it's it's tough to say like the, where the costs and the money go. Like I mean, we were we were discussing this um, on on the ride in here because we drove drove here to record, 
And uh, essentially, you were talking about you were you had seen the video where they made the music for Ark because we were joking because yeah. there was a wasp flying outside the Jeep, and you know we we're joking about having the Ark music playing. But you said it was what three days? Three days and, of filming in London. Yeah, with so an you, orchestra. Three days with probably the London Philharmonic yeah. Orchestra. I mean, the cost of that, because an orchestra but is then, about, what, 50, 60, and that, 70 that people? that would kind of piss you off, because it's just like, why why spend the money on that then when there's things that you need to fix in the fucking game? Because right. the music is the least important part for me. Yeah. I do not give a shit yeah. about your music. Like, granted, your ARC music is now iconic. Yeah. And every time I hear it, that's ARC. Yeah. Um, but fuck me i would much rather be able to clip my wall into a fucking right. side of a mountain yeah. and it not look like shit when right. i build my house and not have to watch videos online of arc players building mods that make your game fucking better and you still haven't put those mods in your game yeah when they've done the work for you blows my fucking mind yeah because you you literally again have they're to probably spend... looking towards end product versus like you know let's be honest someone that sits in his basement has made this little mod called s plus which is fucking amazing by the way anyone that plays arc on pc will yeah. know s plus is phenomenal and it, it fixes so much shit with arc it's unbelievable how much it fixes it's like really how have you not bought this so the fact that that wasn't installed into arc instantly because how much do you really think that guy was gonna want yeah okay most worst case scenario what he's gonna want 100 grand just say, just say he asked yeah. for 100 grand just to be a dick because he's probably 17. Yeah. I know one of the guys, Blitz, who actually mods Arc, Arc Evolved, he's 17 years old. Yeah. So, or 18 something. I don't know. Yeah. He's young. So how much is this kid really going to fucking ask for? So the $3 million you probably spent in London making that fucking orchestra, you probably could have spent like 100,000 and got one of the mods that fixes your entire fucking building. Yeah. Like... It blows my mind. Yeah. It's like, come on, they man. Should, they should be targeting a kid like that and hiring him. Exactly. And they said enough. they were doing that. It's like, well, why? Well, I haven't seen anything. Yeah. These mods are made. People are using them. Why haven't we? Why aren't yeah. we seeing them in the game? Yeah. And they're disc releasing on the twenty seventh. So it's like, are you waiting to release these for like, you know, pri Like, are you gonna make us buy this shit? You know what I mean? Like, are you gonna do like? No, because we were, we were, I mean, as part of the preview contract, you were guaranteed. No, I mean, once before. the game disc release, are you then going to release microtransactions oh, yes. that fix oh, the, you know, that's which is happen. horseshit. You know Why would you happen? do that? Because that's the way I, like I said, gaming is, is messed up in a lot of way. They want to extract as much money from you as humanly yeah, but possible. The game should, then the game should work from yeah. the beginning. I shouldn't have to buy an update yeah. to clip walls properly. Yeah. When, when they go full release, when they go full release, then Absolutely. They're going to go full arc. Wildcard's going to go full arc. They're, yeah. they're the guy, they've, all of a sudden they've got metal behemoth gates and rockets. Yeah. So they're just going to start throwing <laughs> microtransactions at us. Yeah. It's, Here, make arc run smoother. It's, it's distinctly possible. I mean, <laughs> you know, like I said, I mean, video games are But I don't want to cut Wildcard. Like I said, I love the company. I love what they've done with the game. Yeah. Dark and Light's coming out soon at the end of this year, probably around November, December, I hope. Yeah. Which looks phenomenal. So... Yeah, uh, there's there's lots of games. I mean, in all honesty, my gaming habits have changed. I don't buy so much anymore. Yeah. I actually play a lot of the free games that were given, and they're I older see games. That. I don't. I just like download them, and then I just like uh, even yeah. when I look at them, I'm like, I don't think I'm ever gonna play this. Yeah. But it's like there if I want to play it. Yeah. Yeah. I play Trials Fusion. I'll probably oh, play God. Assassin's Creed <laughs> at some point. Trials yeah, Fusion. It's a good game. No, no, it's not. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, dude. Fucking old shit game. <laughs> Listen, uh, any game where you got a unicorn fucking running around with a cat on its back shooting off pistol rounds, it's a fun it's, game. It's a fucking stupid ass <laughs> game. I don't know. I've enjoyed it. I, oh, I got, I got sucked into it. And then, you know, a lot of the games that I have been playing, like Outlast and, you know, the Marvel Outlast. thing, it's, they're, they're all free. They're all free. Outlast is just boring though, isn't it? You just walk around with a video camera. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, I've seen that game played through too on YouTube. So yeah. it's like. Mm. Yeah, there's lots of, you know. I'm not into horror I get games. my money out of World of Tanks, which you hate as well. Because <laughs> it's shit. Yeah, it's a good game. It's not a good game. It a it's good like game. an app game. No, like it's, not quite. It should be a fucking app. Like, honestly. Because nah. the only people that play it are like men that are like fucking i don't know even don't know about like gaming that there's other games or that like they're just married and trying to get away yeah. it's like the games i play i play app games and they're all just like men that just 
they play games on their apps when they're on their their fucking iPad at home. So just they're, like they're sitting with a thing yeah, around the dinner the, table playing yeah, the app like game because the they app don't want to be caught. Yeah, that's they're what as it bad is. Bad as their kids. That's what it is. Uh, it's, that's to each their own. I mean, it's I whatever you enjoy. I play tanks on Xbox. No, <laughs> no. It's a good game. You're missing out. I'm not. I've seen you guys play it. It looks boring yeah. as all hell. Hide yeah. behind a house. Sneak out. Get a shot off at another tank. Hide behind yeah. a house. That's tank warf- warfare for <laughs> oh, you. Oh, I know. I know. I know what tank warfare is, but fuck me. Is it boring to play? Yeah. Man. Whew. Sheesh kebabs. Yeah. But then you guys play FIFA for like. Which is a great game Ultimate well. Hours. It's a good party game. Yeah. I believe that some games are meant for like party games. Like when you had N64 and you had like Paper Mario. Yeah. Like, and everyone would just come and like try to do levels of Paper Mario or some shit. Like you never play Paper Mario on your own because Paper Mario is fucking lame. Yeah. But party Mario, when people come around, you know, it's the yeah. game you play. Well, and that's what we do. But like, FIFA, I mean, you know, totally party game. But to play it like legitimately at home, fuck. I no, can't. I don't. You, you never see me play it solo. No, never. I'm it's I'm, not a, I'm always not competing a, online. It's not a solo. I didn't play game. this solo mode where you're like the guy and you go to training camp and you do that. So like the guy that plays thing. Rocket League solo, single and player. And then eventually Rocket you you know sell your life and you go to play for Man U for some unknown reason. No, I don't play that stuff. And like Rocket League went downhill too. It's the most laggy game ever in the is world it, to play it? now. I haven't. They did like an update while. and I can't even play it. And my car just does this. That's strange. You've always had issues with that game, though. Brutal. Yeah. Well, no. The first time I tried the trial, it was golden for three yeah. whole days. And then something and then, happened. And then I bought it. Yeah. <laughs> then you bought it and... Uh, turned down his connection. Didn't yeah. <laughs> yeah. I still think it's something to do with your internet connection. Well, I play every other game seamlessly, so yeah. I don't know why it would be to do with my internet connection. Yeah, I don't know. And my internet connection's fine. I can do tests online. Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm not sure. But I'm not the only one. Like, I work with guys, and they're like, yeah, since the update, I can't play yeah. it. There's maybe too many people playing it, and maybe they need to. Maybe they service. did an update and broke their ass game. Yeah, well, they and could have done that. It's just a broken too. ass game. <laughs> yeah. And that happens too. Like, guys uh, will update uh, stuff, and it's like. Yeah, they broke it. I think that's what happened to Conan. I so think that's why Division. the notice was there. Division, Division was another broken good example. as fuck. Yeah. But now it's sick as fuck. Yeah. I still had Division downloaded, and I still play it. They just did another download that was massive. Yeah. Phenomenal. I love it. Yeah. The unfortunate thing is when you release a broken product, though, is that, you know, the momentum gets lost and people. But it's still a busy game. I play it. Like, there's. I'm just saying it could have been a a busier game, but a lot of people. No, well, if you look at statistics online, it's busier busier than Wildlands still. Yeah. Yeah. Still one of their. Well, same company, though, right? That's what I'm saying. It's still one of their highest paid games. Yeah. Out of all their games. I'm just saying that people that are not normally Tom Clancy game players, if they had made the game right in the first place, more people would have gravitated towards it in the initial. I don't know. I yeah. disagree because I'm not a Tom Clancy fan at yeah. all. And I love Division. I yeah. thought Wildlands was shit. Yeah. And I think any other game before that. I, I didn't played, play Wildlands. I, Las I played Vegas Rainbow, was shit. Rainbow Six Siege, which is good. It's a fun game. Uh, I just thought it was Call of Duty-esque. Yeah, it's 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 definitely has that element to it, but uh, yeah, I'm sick. I'm really bored of games like that unless it's actually yeah. Call of Duty. Yeah, I mean, there's there's one coming out soon. World War Two. It's Call Call of Duty World War Two. Pumped. And then there's another one. I can't remember the name we'll of the game exactly. Where it's it. zombies introduced into the map. Okay, so I'm just gonna play the Call of Duty World yeah. War Two. I'm not a fan of the zombie game for yeah. Call of Duty. Boring. Yeah. No, not the zombie game. It's like playing Call of Duty. So player versus player but they've got okay. npc zombies on the map yeah. they get triggered when you shoot and chase you so it's like a just bring a daisy out and quit yeah. like i scared to eat the pussy like what's going on i don't know stop beating around the fucking bush and bringing out these bullshit other games just bring daisy out yeah they're all different developers so you're gonna get what you get right well the other developers <laughs> can fuck off and bring daisy out yeah. on xbox yeah. they've been saying they're gonna do it fucking do it stop we'll bringing see. out these imitation crap yeah. It's like Schnaddy Das. Yeah. Here, play our Schnaddy Das version of DayZ. Yeah. Bullshit. Economy oh, well. crap. Anyways, that's all we have time for this week. All right. Well, I'm Lloyd. I'm JD. Peace. See ya.